Hello everyone, HazeFest here. This is going to be a video on Bison UI, installing the UI, and setting it up. And I'll also have my profile for my UI in the description below, in case you want to utilize exactly what I have set up already. So I have all my windows open, so that you can kind of see what it all looks like. Um, this is not exactly how yours will look like because there are many many options for bison ui and let's go ahead and get into how you would actually find this and install it if this is something that you want to do um, first thing you would do is you would go to the internet and you would do a google search so you would type in bison ui download First thing that comes up is like a, a thread with Bison UI's po at post count. If you click on this, it'll take you to a post that he had that's quite old. This is dated. It looks a lot different now. So it's got a, a, a circular compass as well. I'll show you the options when we actually get into installing it. You can see what the old version looks like. A little bit more up to date now. Uh, now. I don't have these showcased. These are like the, uh, the group UI elements. So you can see it. You have the option to have buffs showing, no buffs showing, and there's all kinds of different vari uh, variables that you can have showing here. Here's a UI and all of the different windows cut and pasted here. At the very bottom of this link, I'll put these in my video description, are going to be the Mediafire download link, as well as the Discord to buy some UI. So if you go into the Discord for Bison UI, once you get to Bison UI, this is where you'll be. Under releases, there's a pinned message at the top. You click on the pinned message and update 12.03. There's a download link right at the bottom. You can click that and it's gonna ask a uh, zip file. Are you sure you want to go there? Yes. This will take you to the Mediafire link with his compressed download. Go ahead and click download. All right, once the file is downloaded, go to your downloads. There'll be a custom zip file here. You can double click on that to open the WinZar. You can see here there's a custom folder. So we want the information that's in the custom folder. If you already have a custom folder in your Atlas, I'm gonna go here real quick. So right now, I'm in my Atlas folder, scroll all the way down to UI, go to custom. I have a copy of custom here. I recommend that you do this. If you already have an existing custom folder, that way you don't lose any data. Go into custom. Since we want the assets and everything else, we are going to do control A. And we're just going to move the assets over into the Bison UI. All right, once you've extracted the file into your Atlas UI custom folder, there'll be a Bison UI application here with a little gear. It's a little red icon with white gears. Open that. For this particular part, make sure Dark Age of Camelot is closed so that you can make the settings and changes to the UI. For Bison UI, you have all these little buttons that you can click. Each one of these buttons opens up another selection screen. For the chat font, you want to pick the third one, Overpass. This will make your chat resizable with no shadow. So when you click your option, a little window will pop up that tells you that it installed properly. And you just hit OK or any button. And then you can go through and you can choose your compasses, uh, your paper doll, which shows you solid with no text, solid with text, no text, and with text transparent. I prefer the transparent ones myself. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? We got quick bar setups. You have transparent quick bars with or without numbers. I prefer with, so that you can actually see where your things are on your bar. Your stats screen, I recommend that you pick medium for stats because it'll give you a bigger box, which is more uh, legible. 
Uh, same thing for experience bars. I recommend that you choose the second option, boxes that are nine pixels wide. Very easy to read this one. Uh, you have maps. If you don't want to use Hazefest's custom maps from the Discord in Atlas or off the Atlas website, you can do uh, the in-game maps for Bison UI. You have an option of 256 or you can do 512. Uh, you have your in-game helper. This is actually your, your group bars. The buff bars are completely different. You can have both of these up or none of them up, whichever you choose. There's also a small HH, which is like another group bar. And that will give you a just a, a much more condensed version of your group bars. Custom bars, you can change the color of your target bar your health bar, your endurance bar, and your power bar. So if you want to change your power bar to blue to simulate mana, you can do that. And you can change the width and the height of all of these bars individually. Status is a good one because if you are in a group, it will show you your different status effects, near sight, disease, mez. You have pet windows. You have a condensed pet window down here. I don't like this one. I prefer the standard compact and it, uh, it all works. You can shift click attack, shift click the pet's name, all that, and you can transfer it to your bar. It's very nice. You can change the way your layout is for your summary. You can have a four box here, which will have the target, and then you, your endurance, and then your power. Alternatively, if you don't like the side-by-side, -side, I prefer the bottom one here, the one by three wide. The target will be the black box, your health, power and endurance are down here at the bottom icons so here you can choose what different icons you want you can have old style you can have solid transparent you can have rounded you can have classic whichever whichever you prefer all right that about covers it for the choices in the ui when you go into the game on the atlas launcher make sure you don't have any characters selected so that way you go into the realm selection menu we want to go to the character select screen so that we can go to options and under the interface setting here where it says skin choice you can change from At uh, atlantis skin to your custom skin once you do that bison should be enabled hit accept then you can hit play all of the choices that you made up to this point will reflect on your ui close these extra windows that I had open. So anything that you chose here, you'll be able to shift click to move it around and drag it to wherever you want it. Once you let go of shift, it will stay. Um, you can completely resize everything. If you chose the overpass resizable text, you can come in here and you can choose your font size. So if you have trouble reading smaller text or if you have a, just a really big UI, you can really upsize what you need and you can also make it smaller if it's too much. Here are the floating health bars that you can change the colors for and also the floating I'll put all these next to each other. So you can these are the ones that are customizable. You can change the colors on all of these, you can change the sizes and all that. If you'd much rather have a cleaner broken apart summary rather than having it all together like I do at the bottom. If you don't want any specific windows open, you can just come back into the Bison UI for the HP and stuff, but you just click those and they'll go away. Um, Atlas is going to have a custom button here. Once Atlas has launched and we get Bison all of the information that he needs, he will make a custom button that's interactable for Atlas. And it'll probably be similar to the Phoenix one here. The Phoenix button had the command screen. Everything's all kind of jumbled together until you click these buttons at the top. So here's the command screen, it kind of explains what everything is and some of the commands here that are pretty useful. We're going to do the same thing for Atlas because I'm feeding Bison information and so are the dev team. You have different breakdowns of Hibernia, Albion, and Mid, and these are all XP token items and locations from Phoenix. They're going to be a little different here on Atlas because Atlas pretty much placed by hand things where they are. If you want to replicate my UI exactly, like if you don't want to go through the process of setting it up, there's a way that we can set it up so that it, it's a default for all our characters. So if I made my first character, I go through the trouble of setting up my UI the way I want, 
there is a way to default that setup so that every time you make a new character, your layout's already done and you can just get right to the grind. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and exit the game. Go to your C drive. When you're in your C drive, go to your users folder. Go to your computer's name at the top. Scroll down and go to app data. If your app data folder is missing and you can't see it, go to view, go to hidden items and put a check mark in that. If you uncheck it, you can see that there's no app data folder. If you check it, it appears. Go into your app data folder, go to roaming, scroll down to electronic arts, dark age of Camelot, Atlas, I like to start, uh, go to the view details and then sort by date modified. This will give you the last character that you logged into. You want to go to this configuration file, this .ini file. All right, you're going to right click, go to edit. It's going to give you a window here. And if you see at the very top, you're going to see panels. You want to left click and drag all the way down to where it says Emoticon 100. So we're going to select everything from Emoticon 100 and anything else that you want to carry over. We're going to scroll all the way up and make sure we grab all the way to panels. We're going to do control C for copy. All right. And we're going to close this. Now, if you wanted to go to a separate character, you would just scroll down to the next character that you want to move this UI to, and you'd go to edit, and you could paste it into that person. And then do file, save, and that's it. If you want to copy the character's UI that you've made as a default, you will go to your Atlas folder, scroll down. You'll see a large group of default You'll have just a blank default, and then you'll have default with numbers with it, 800, 1024. These are resolutions. How can you tell which resolution you have? If you go back to the character select screen, go to options, your resolution is in the top left. It's the graphics resolution. You want the first four digits, which is your first number, 1920, for this particular tutorial. So you go back to your Atlas screen, or your Atlas folder, go down, default 1920, or whichever one that you have, right click, go to edit, and then you'll just paste over all the way to emoticon 100, and you're done. If you want to default any macros, put them under macros, and whatever quick bar that you want them on. And that's it. All right, boys and girls, that's pretty much it for the Bison UI tutorial, as well as you know cu installing custom UIs and moving one UI from another character to whichever character you want to move it to, or moving it from a character to a default layout. That way, every character you create will have the exact same setup, and you won't have to fight with it. Anyway, boys and girls, I'm Hayes Fest. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.